This time the Quick Speed Shop, I'm back working on the Ford Caroline Boogie Man. I'm battling the COVIDs, I got it, it's not too bad. I'm in here working for a while in the home shop for a few days now because I'm on, on the band list. And uh, hopefully I do all right and feel good enough to get things going here. But I'm out here working on a van and uh, we're gonna have some fun. So let's get into it. I'm starting right now. I'm a professional, don't try this at home. Hey, welcome back to the Quick Speed Shop. I'm in here, I've been on hiatus a couple days, been sick, and uh, haven't been in here working. I've been out and back out of here. Today I want to get the uh, floor pan welded in. I almost had it ready to go the last time I was in here working and then didn't quite get there and then it's been three or four days. I've been down and out, so I'm going to get back on that. We'll go in there and I'll show you what I'm going to use some plug welds and edge welds and stuff and get that dialed in. And then uh, hopefully get the floor pretty much, the front half of the floor anyways, tied up and uh, go from there for the big, the big hole so I can start working on some other things. All right, so in between the videos, I got my front tow board welded in here. Uh, last time I showed you, I cut this out of a bigger floor pan I bought and I just needed this lower section. It's got the proper dimple down here around the body mount. Got the bolt just stuck, uh, stuck into it here. I can take it out and show you, I guess not. Oh, there we go. You can see the uh, the body mount hole, it's got a dimple. I don't know if it's hard to tell on the camera, but it's there. So that's all good. Everything is all plug welded in. I ended up MIG welding it all the way around solid. It's got about a half inch overlap that's tight on the bottom. And then I will seam seal the, the, uh, the gap up on the bottom, that'll be fine. And then we're ready to start fitting the, the big floor pan in here. I've got to cap the top of this brace in. I'm just going to get a piece of like three inch wide, eighth inch flat stock, make a top hat for this to seal this up. I blew a little bit of primer in it. I've drilled a drain hole that I'll spray some fluid film in later. So that'll uh, give some rust protection to this new cavity. Um, <clears throat> that'll work. You can see the, I've got the, uh, the foot well out here now. I got to get that back in. That's going to uh, plug weld back onto the top of the rocker panel. I want to do a little bit of grinding back here first before I do that. But it should come together pretty good, pretty fast. I've got to trim the big floor panel uh, here. This actually overhangs the front quite a ways now, so I gotta get this put in the position where it's gotta be pretty much here, about there. And, uh, oops, the bolt is holding it up. Take my uh, marker and get me a rough, rough marker where I gotta trim this back. Where is it? There we go. Also, I'm just going to trace right, well I got it right here, I'm going to trace my, uh, trace my brace so I know where to do my plug welds. So now, ah, aha, alright, you can see here, this line, this is the overhang, so I got to leave, I got to leave some, probably about half inch for an overlap, so I'll trim the front edge of this off. <clears throat> this blacked in line here, this is where the brace is, so I can drill some plug welds down the center of this. Here's the other brace here, I'll drill some plug welds here, and then I've got the existing plug welds marked out up on top on the other side. So, I can get this big pan. Oh, dang it. So I can go and get the big pan trimmed up here. Um, I'll make the top of this brace. Still under the weather. Turns out I got the COVID. Got the COVID. Uh, somehow I got that and I've been off work. I, I'll be off work for another couple days so I'll get some quality van time in here. It has been real bad. I just it felt like a head, head cold to me and I can't smell anything. My voice sounds a little strange but other than that I don't have any fatigue or uh, breathing issues there so I guess I lucked out and got the mild case. Maybe I got that new Omnicon core 
Omni Omni thing, the new the new the new variant. Maybe I've got the new variant. But anyways, I'm on the mend from that, so we're gonna hammer on this van while I got some days off here and see if I can get some things going. It's an absolute disaster. Okay, I got the pan in here now, set down, uh, roughly clamped into place. Um, my door sill, actually I welded in the door sill since last time down here, the blue part. Um, it's got a little punky edge here. I'm going to end up with a strip, about a one inch strip welded on over here. There's an indentation in this floor because the original sill went up and over it, but my edge is rusted away, so I'm going to make a filler piece there when this is done. But I've got the pan in here. You can see all my plug welds. I just drilled these out with a quarter inch drill bit and then they are on top of all the braces. Um, I've got a couple of zip screws holding in place. I've got it lightly clamped around here. Um, I've got to do some more clamping back here once I get ready, but I want to get a couple of plug welds in. I got a screw here. I got this drop base here. I got to, I'll probably plug this in the center and then work my way out just kind of in case the panel wants to move around. I'll just kind of work my way out when I weld it. I've got like five or six plug welds up here in the front. Right now it's kind of sprung up, but I'll, once I get it located here that I can like hammer and work it with a dolly. I'm gonna weld along the edge over here on the, on, on the, uh, the tunnel lip. I'm gonna weld on the edge of that, kind of like seam weld that. And then uh, the rest will just be plug welded together. And then in the back, when I fix the floor back here, it'll be Another floor piece that comes up on this brace, and then I'll just seam seal the gap in between and seal it all up. This will get all seam sealed underneath, uh, too, later on um, around all the braces and everything to make sure it's all sealed up weather tight. But the panel is on here. It's sitting on here nice, nice and good. Um, it's touching a lot of the braces. I got one spot that's just a little far a bit away, so I'll push down on it when I weld it, and I'll plug this and get this tied in, and I'll just work my way around. Over here in the corner of the foot well, you can see I butt welded that there and I, I plug welded my holes down here. I've got to rebuild this corner. I'll do that last. It's going to have a piece that wraps around and ties into over here. I also need to close in the bottom of this. This was about three layers originally. I'm going to make it probably out of two and I'll get that buttoned up. And um, there's a rubber sill plate that goes, goes over all this and covers this up that says Ford on it. So this will be uh, pretty much covered up. You won't see any of these seams. And I'm going to Herculine this whole floor with Herculiner. Wrap it right, her, bring the Herculiner right down here into this and right out to where the paint stops um, here. So this will all be protected to a Herculiner. Bed liner material, I like to do that on a lot of my truck builds. Coat the entire floor with a Herculiner because it makes a nice waterproof, durable, uh, rubberized coating that, you know, you can wash the truck out with a hose that, keeps water from getting down in the, the seams and stuff and makes some sound deadening. So I'll put be doing that all under this van under the and this van's gonna have a carpet kit in it. I can order an actual uh, replacement carpet, but I still like to use the Herculiner under everything first to protect the metal. So I will be doing that uh, at, at a future point here. But we'll get all this buttoned up. I'm about ready to get the welder out. Probably set you up on the fast motion action and we'll freaking go ahead and just blip this around get it plug welded in here and then this floor will be back in back in business and then i'll just work up on the details you know clean it up this around here Alright, there we go, not too bad. 
things welded up in here tight. Now, got it all got it all done. Um, it's fully welded the supper patch all the way around here and then plug weld like I show you. So it's all down on the braces. It's it's all good. And uh, I'll just take a little bit of cleanup with the grinder to knock all these plug welds down flush. And then uh, that'll be pretty much it. Now I just got to make a little strip over here to cover up the top of this door sill and then build my little corner piece here. It's going to be a little bit more intricate work over here. So it'll take me the rest of the, the night probably to get this buttoned up. But it looks good and it's good enough for uh, what we're doing with this fan. That's for darn sure. This back section, I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. Uh, I can't, I don't really have the technology to bend up all the ribs. And I know where there's a van in the junkyard, but the junkyard's got a weird weird uh, rule about like cutting stuff up. It's a pick and pull, but they won't like, won't let you cut weird things. Like obviously nobody's looking for a floor of a Ford Econoline van except for me. And the thing's just gonna sit there in a the junkyard then get crushed and go away. So I don't know why I wouldn't be able to cut out a floor pan out of there with a Sawzall. Just zip out a big chunk and then bring it back here and put it in. That's what I'd really like to do because that would fix it the right way. But I gotta see uh, what the deal is with that. If not, I might be able to bend up some of the, like the edges and make it out of a whole bunch of pieces or something or something stupid. I don't know. I mean, in theory, it's gonna be under the carpet. And it really doesn't need all the, to look factory. If I could just get it close enough, you know, a couple of ribs there for strength, or I could bead roll it. it anything would be fine. It just, you know, since I'm here and doing it, I'd like to try to put it back stock-ish as much as I could. Okay, so I got a piece made here for the, uh, to finish off this footwell. It's a piece of 18 gauge, and it's got a couple of plug welds here that go up on top of my rail, and it's gonna uh, weld into the existing where the original piece was here. And it just kinda like lays in here. Let's see if I can get it dialed in. Right now it just kinda lays in there like that. And it makes the rolled edge, nice rolled edge up here. It's going to weld down the front of this here and just get a um, ground up. It's going to get seam sealed on the bottom. This other flange I made that's on this side is so I can, I can, I got to do a filler strip here and I need some way to attach to it. So that's going to weld down to there. And then this piece is going to come up, the filler strip is going to come up and roll around and sit up on the seam like the existing foot weld does here. So I've got this pretty much made up here, ready to go on oh, right about there we've got to clamp it in place and i can just kind of weld that on first and then uh let me bring you over you can see how it's going to go in here it'll uh get tacked and then seam sealed around this bottom edge here and then weld it up the front and top and then this gap here there's going to be a piece made in there just kind of piecing it together it's kind of complicated corner and uh two pieces the easiest for me to make it like I said, this isn't 100% restoration. This is just getting it back good enough for what I'm doing, piecing it back together with some good metal and uh, making it look pretty much factory with taking a little bit of liberty liberty with the action. So this piece is ready to go. I'm going to weld this up in here and then uh, make this little filler piece and uh, finish this out. Bam, there we go. Got everything all ground down here, ground all around, cleaned up in here, ground all the way around up in here. Everything's all ground down smooth. The plug welds on the floor. Everything's nice and tight. Bam, there we go. So that looks good. Uh, just to finish up the front of the floor, I'll probably weld up some of these holes over here, get all this welded up. Um, like I said, I'll order a floor pan for over there where that rust is over there. I'll get a little front floor pan and I'll do the same thing I did, replacing down here like this. And then uh, the only thing I got left to do is this rear hole. And then I've got two small rust holes back by the uh, body mount bolts, but I can easily fix them with some flat sheet metal. I also have a crack in the floor pan there. You see that? That's where the uh, something was mounted under here, the wheelchair lift or something. It flexed the floor. i got to clean that up and weld that up. But it looks a lot better. It's put back together as a van floor. Should work good. Awesome. Now when you're grinding and welding on something like this you always want to leave like in at least an hour after you get done working to make sure you don't have any kind of fire 
and I actually had a little one. I saw smoke coming up out of the dash, just like wisping up out of here, and I couldn't figure out where it was. Um, some of the firewall padding actually was smoldering from the grinder, shot sparks up in there, and it got the end of the, the padding on fire. And if I had just left it, it probably would have uh, burned up through the padding, and it could have caught something else in the dash on fire. That would have been really bad, considering it's uh, late at night now, and if I went to bed, it came up, could have had the whole bar van burned up and the whole garage burned down. So you always want to pay attention to what's going on because you don't want to have any issues. Here's the pad here. You can see it smoked, smoked that, uh, it's like a cloth there, and it, it was smoking up the whole time, just kind of like slowly burning up through there. And uh, was it was on its way, burning up through there. So I got it ripped out. This was, I think... Yeah, it was like that. So it was working its way up to this bigger piece, but I got it out and didn't have a catastrophe. That would have been bad. Well, to finish out the video, I've just been looking around here. I've been cleaning up, actually. I uh, the, the COVID, I didn't think I was having any effects of it at all, but actually got a little bit of like winded working on this thing. It slowed me down a little bit. Didn't realize I was having that much of an issue. I haven't felt bad with it at all, except like head cold symptoms. But I, uh, I noticed my how pul my pulse is like a little elevated and it slowed me down. It made me feel like I was tired than I thought I was. So that slowed me down a little bit. But I, I got the van pushed ahead here. Um, I've got like almost no space to work. I reorganized some stuff over here, put my uh, uh, sheet metal brake over on this other side. I got the welder hiding over here. It's a place like a disaster. But I got the van pushed ahead so I can get into this nook here to open this door. Luckily, it's got the slider on here in the back. But now I can actually get the passenger door open all the way because I need to address this. This is the rust on the passenger side around the body mount. I'll get this loose here. This is a heat shield for the exhaust. So I'm going to order another floor pan, which should come all the way back to here and uh, cut it out just like the other side. I've got some uh, spots to weld up. There's a big hole in the floor here, two of them. i got to take the round file, clean up, shine up the edges of these holes, and i got to cut some sheet metal uh, discs and weld in there. There's a couple of bolts here. This had something that kind of like pulled through the floor. i got to hammer that down and weld that up. i got to weld these two holes up. And over here is where I told you the floor had stress cracked. There was a piece bolted here, and it stress cracked this. So I've got to clean all this up, weld all this back together. You can see there's a crack here at the body mount, this crack. And uh, there's also two more spots back here. They had the a piece of tubing bolted onto the floor. You can see I actually tried pulling up through the floor a bennet here that was bolted on here. So i got to hammer this down and work this back out. Under the hood, I was putting some things back together. I got the voltage regulator screwed back to the fender, the uh, starter solenoid, whatever this is, some kind of relay here. For the battery action, I'm going to uh, spray some uh, fluid film black in here on this battery tray to protect this. I did spray fluid film in the van before I put the fenders back on. You can see here is the engine. It's a 302. I'm going to be removing the, uh, the air pump later. I've got a, a factory piece to replace that. I gotta pull the steering box out. The lower seal is leaking, and I'm actually gonna swap the box with the box that's out in the uh, camper chassis outside that I dragged home that camper I cut up. But I've got some things I gotta remove. This servo unit here that's bolted to the firewall, that's junk that's gotta go. You can see there's a pretty big hole cut in the firewall here. I've got a patch by the steering column. There's a lot of nonsense on this uh, steering box here. I gotta remove that. A couple of old brackets that went to something, I gotta get rid of them. So I just got some wrenching on it here to do. Um, they had some kind of bougie return system here through the filler neck of the power steering pump. So I got to take that off. They used to have another drive belt off it. So I'm going to tinker around with that and take the grill off just because I need it out of the way. Just been setting it up on there. I might end ending up using this grill. It's about the best one I got. It's a little twisted because it was an erect van. It's got a, it's got a, what do you call it? It's like warped right here, this corner piece, and it's got a crack in it here. I can glue that back together, and I might be able to use a heat gun to heat this up and take some of the flex out of it, because the rest of the grill is in really nice shape, and it's like the best one I got. So, <coughs> I'm going to think about that. But, 
this panel here, I still need to do some fitting up on it here. I need to trim here. Probably turn that into a separate video, get this thing fit up better into the into the fenders. This van is uh, medium grade metallic. I've got to see if I can get some rattle can paint here so I can just paint this lower valence panel. It won't be perfect, but it's going to be good enough for what I'm doing. Um, the rest of the van is like faded out real bad. I might try to have my friend at work uh, rub it out. He's got a lot of buffers and stuff to try to rub the van out and see if we make it shinier. It's got a bunch of door dings in the lower driver's side door and then the center of the passenger door. So it's it's not mint. Eventually I'm going to do some like 70s panel paint job on this thing. Uh, not this year, but I'm going to drive it kind of as a beater for now. I think I'll uh, just keep tinkering on this thing and then uh, we'll come back next time. We'll do another video and see what's going on. Hopefully I'm recovered so I can work at full full capacity. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and we'll see you right back here at the Quick Speed Show.